in this video we are going to look at various types of polynomials okay and I'm gonna give you an example of each one of them the first one is a zero polynomial okay and what does this mean this basically means that a polynomial let's say for example px with all coefficients as zero is called a zero polynomial now you know that uh, if you have some polynomial like this okay x squared plus x what are the coefficients coefficients are the real number which precedes these variables right what it says is that a zero polynomial is the one where all these coefficients are zero in other words the moment you put in a zero over here then basically this px effectively becomes zero and this is what is a zero polynomial as against this when we talk about a constant polynomial it's a polynomial with a single term of a real number okay so let's say if you have a polynomial which is written as 5 or 6 there is just a single real number over here and the value of x or actually it, the degree of x in this case is 0 right because 5 can be written as 5 into 1 and 5 into 1 can also be written as x to the power 0 right or in other words the degree over here is 0 but this is a polynomial which has a single term of a real number in this case 5 right the next one is a linear or and quadratic polynomial so what is a linear polynomial a polynomial of degree 1 right what does this mean so highest power of a variable so let's say if you have px is equal to 4 plus 3 okay and you have a variable x so if you write x over here the highest degree of x in this case is 1 so it could be something like 4x plus 3 right a polynomial of degree 1 is called a first degree or a linear polynomial the general form of a linear polynomial is ax plus b so let's say 4x plus 3 where a is basically 4 b is 3 where a and b are real numbers and a is not equal to 0 the reason why we say a is not equal to 0 if you have a x plus b and a is equal to 0 then it becomes 0 times x plus b or in other words it will become 0 plus b now b is a real number right so what you will have in the polynomial is only a real number which effectively is going to make it what it make it a constant polynomial right so the condition is a cannot be equal to zero let's look at quadratic polynomial a polynomial of degree 2 is called a second degree or a quadratic polynomial the general form of a quadratic polynomial is a x square plus b x plus c where a b and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero something like 4 x square plus 2 x plus 3 right p x is equal to this what is the highest degree of the variable the variable is x the highest degree is 2 this is known as a quadratic or a second degree polynomial on similar lines you have cubic and biquadratic polynomial a cubic the way it sounds is a third degree okay where the degree of the polynomial is 3 it's known as a third degree or a cubic polynomial right the general form again ax cubed the power of x highest is 3 it's of a third degree ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d and again a b c and d are real numbers and a is not equal to 0 please note always is important that a is not equal to 0 why the moment a is 0 then this highest degree will become 0 and the degree would actually fall down to the other lower ones and it may fall in some other category right so it could be like 4x cube plus 2x square plus 3 maybe the highest degree is 3 but the moment you say that it is 0x cube for this particular one then it becomes 0 what we are left with is 2x square plus 3 and it actually becomes not a cubic but a quadratic polynomial the last one is biquadratic polynomial the degree here is 4 okay and it's called the fourth degree or a biquadratic polynomial the general form the highest degree has to be 4 so ax4 
बी एक्स क्यूब सी एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स प्लस ई ए बी सी डी ई आर रियल नंबर्स इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी दैट ऑल ऑफ देम आर प्रेजेंट एक्सेप्ट ए हैज टू बी देयर राइट वेदर इट्स वन और टू और वेवर एंड ए के नॉट बी इक्वल टू जीरो 